WAND News Nightcap. Saw a funnel cloud and it just came right out of the sky. And then it hit the ground and just started wagging, wagging all around, went right on through town. A tornado ripped through part of Shelby County, destroying homes and injuring several people. Good evening, everyone. A severe tornado in central Illinois, our lead story tonight. People in the small town of Finlay say it's a miracle that no one was seriously hurt. In a matter of seconds, a tornado swept through the town late this afternoon, leaving scattered homes in its path of destruction. As Jerry Goodman reports tonight from Finley, townspeople are hard at work to put their town back together. I saw it forming back in the, and it looked mean and ornery, but I didn't realize that it hit home here. Elmer Lutz wasn't home when tornado winds destroyed his 60-year-old house. His family was. His wife was one of three people in this town taken to the hospital for injuries. The Lutz home was the first of several homes the tornado hit as it passed through town. A family of five was in this home when the tornado struck, and as you can see, the house was lifted about 25 feet off its foundations. Almost everything inside was damaged, but somehow, no one was hurt. It sounded just like a train whistle, just like they said. It picked up, and it moved us, and the house was just gone. It was all over in a matter of two or three seconds. Hours later, many of these people were still in shock, amazed at how so much could happen so quickly. The twister blew the roof off this house cleanly. The things inside scattered about the town. In between the damaged homes, the town lay scattered, poles lifted from the ground, power lines strewn about like yarn, trees splintered into pieces. Many families felt lucky their homes were spared, at least in part. I think what saved my home was the, the blowing debris that broke the windows open, that opened the house up. At dusk, emergency service crews were just beginning a long night. The first task to avoid another disaster. We've got gas to the entire town shut off and most of the electricity shut off. We're trying to determine the extent of the damage uh, in terms of gas leaks, uh, electrical lines that are down. Then everybody reports back. We make an assessment and try and correct the problems. Now the townspeople are left with the hardest part of this disaster, finding out how much they've lost in the storm that came and went out of the clear blue sky. Jerry Goodman, WAND News Nightcast. Now, right now, Shelby County officials... ...a friendly, and Barbara Watkins watched it. I saw the house, the roof of the house go, and so I backed up and got the front door closed, and I looked out, and the, the front tree went up in the air and come down, and I, I backed up into a doorway between the kitchen and the living room, and then glass, the windows all blew in and the glass just flew everywhere. Primarily, there's a, 11 residences that were destroyed. There were 25 with damage, 15 of those were major damage. According to the Red Cross and the local damage estimate, uh, we're up about a million five in loss so far. Most of the destruction was in the northern part of the village. This morning, I think the first thing I noticed was the loss of our trees. You know, 40, 50, 60 year old trees, and they're just gone. And. Uh, it's take a long time to replace that kind of thing. Friends, families, and neighbors have all come together here in Findlay to help and comfort each other in this time of crisis. And for Dale Chapman, who's lived here 17 years, it's virtually a different story. He's lost almost everything. The family history lay in ruins. Wow. Never felt anything like it in my life. There were only two minor injuries, and most who can go back to their homes should be there tonight. Cheryl Pettis, Channel 3 News, Findlay. WAND News Nightcap. Illinois and seven other states struggle to recover from deadly tornadoes. Good evening, everyone. Twisters in our own backyard, our lead story tonight. All in all, many tornadoes ripped through the Midwest, killing at least nine people and leaving more than 100 hurt. In central Illinois, last night's storm seemed to center in on the town of Finley. A tornado there has victims trying to put their lives back together tonight. Some of them lost their homes. WAND's Jerry Goodman begins our look at the day after the tornadoes. Pickup trucks pulled up to this old two-story home throughout the day. People were saving what few belongings remained. It's been Paul Bennett's home for 42 years. He thought he'd be here forever. Now he has to move. And it's, it's all gone, you know, it's 
all torn apart, floors all buckled up and everything. So we won't be able to live here anymore. Yards away, Kevin Heron had just come back to town to see his home. What was left of it? The biggest thing I was worried about was pictures and uh, videotapes of our son. The rest of it's all just material objects that can all be replaced. Further down the street, aftermath showed where the tornado made its path. It destroyed 11 homes in all and damaged more than 30 others, some more than others. Most of the roof had been blown off this house. From the attic, you could see a town in recovery. While many of these folks are devastated from what happened, many others are thankful about what didn't. I'm cleaning up and just praising God for being alive and talking to people. Luckily, nobody was in there. Five minutes don't sound like long, but that's what we needed to get out of there, and everybody made her. The tornado of 1990 will no doubt be a big part of Finley history and be remembered for generations. For this generation, it's a tragedy that'll be felt for years. Jerry Goodman, WAND News, Nightcast. The tornado in Finley slightly injured three people. They've now been treated and released. Luckily, no one was seriously hurt. The storm also ripped out many of the town's power lines, leaving most of the homes that weren't destroyed without power. Crews worked through the night and through most of the day to put power lines back up. Now, as of this evening, most of the power has been restored, but there's still some power line damage. And they worked all night, and right now they've got, I'd say, probably between 80 and 90 percent of the town back in uh, order, so there isn't really a whole lot of a problem there right now. Shelby County officials say despite the power outage, there were few incidents involving looting or vandalism. Today's cleanup was a lot easier with the help of hundreds of volunteers. Disaster officials say nearly every surrounding county and community sent volunteer crews to help Finley, including 10 nearby fire departments. There were so many volunteers, local churches and the Red Cross had a tough time providing meals. Here's a thing of paper towels you can take here. Yeah. Debbie Schultz put in long hours working with the makeshift supermarket of donated supplies. I'm just keeping food up here so they have something to, you know, eat when they come in. Schultz helped the Red Cross serve some 700 meals, mostly to volunteers. ESDA, the disaster service's main problem, was organizing everyone who wanted to help into different sections of town. Many volunteers were a lot like Jack Getz. Oh, yeah, it's hard work. It's dirty work is the way this wind's blowing. Today, he stopped planting beans and started bulldozing debris instead. Doesn't matter whether you know them or not. You just help in a time like this. Several helpful strangers showed up to work here, along with family and friends. Like many, Don here and worked last night and all day today. You sort of have some, uh, what do you call it, intestinal fortitude that keeps you going. So the people of Finley have plenty of support, even if their houses don't. When you have a disaster like this, you just get in there and work. Good evening. Central Illinois was Tornado Alley this afternoon. Dozens of funnel clouds were reported. At least half a dozen touched down, damaging dozens of homes and causing several injuries in Shelby, Edgar, and Jasper counties. This was the tornado that struck Findlay in Shelby County in the late afternoon. Beverly Stroud of Decatur was at a campground three miles south of Findlay when she captured these scenes of the storm with her camcorder. And Channel 3's Michelle Kelly is standing by now, live in Findlay, with more on the storm story there. Michelle? Well, Dick, it started around 4.45 this afternoon. A tornado blasted through Findlay, injuring two people, destroying 11 homes, and damaging many more. It started in the west end of town and ripped through parts of Findlay. Power lines were torn down, roofs were taken off, and debris went up in the air. Officials were forced to shut off electricity and gas. Emergency crews will be working throughout the night to aid victims. The town's northwest side, which is where the damage is, has been closed up. Central Illinois Power Service says it has called an extra crews to help with downed power lines. Earlier tonight, I spoke with several residents who are now trying to pick up the pieces of what is left of their homes and possessions following this afternoon's devastating storm. So what do you plan on doing now? <laughs> I have no idea. I just try to salvage what we can and see what happens. I have no idea. I've never been through this before or anything like it. My husband, he came in there and said, come here, friend, come here, quick, get out here, get out here. And it was a horrible sound. And I came out and he said, look at this. And it was going like straight through here. And it was just blowing up stuff right with it. I've never seen anything like it. We went into the R&K and the power went out and the 
food, you know, started coming off the walls, and I, I got thrown to the floor, and then we seen my mom drive by, and she was just screaming hysterically, and my dad, he was in there looking for me, you know, because he didn't know we left, because he, he thought that we were still here, you know, and this was terrible. Joining me now is Mayor Robert Cox of Finley. We've been told that officials are telling people to stay out of Finley unless they want to help with the cleanup. How can people help if they want to help people with the cleanup? Well, right now, everything's being done that can be done. And the biggest help we can have right now is if they would just, you know, stay out of the way right now because the north end of town has been shut off except for the cleanup crews. So just about everything that can be done right now is being done. And if people want to help out tomorrow, where can they go? Okay, the, right now the command post is in the uh, Finley Fire Department, which is right south of the Finley Bank, and uh, everything's being coordinated through there right now. Okay, thank you. Back to you, Dick. Chell, this is Dave. Can you ask the mayor, uh, if he's still around there, if there was any advance warning of this tornado? Did people know it was coming, or did it kind of surprise him? Did people know that the tornado was coming, or was it a surprise? I think it was a big surprise, but there was a lot of people that saw it coming and actually saw the thing you know hit town and everything so for some it was a big surprise and others it wasn't i've talked to several people around town that were actually in their homes when it hit and uh, we're just really thankful here that no more personal injury happened than what did there's a lot of uh, personal property that's been damaged homes probably something like 40 homes have been torn up and we're just really thankful that the, our people haven't been hurt that's all i can say right now it's, it's been a big mess okay thank you mr cox back to you Okay, hey, thank you very much, Michelle. Michelle Kelly reporting live from Findlay.